Here's today's post-meal, post-bolus diabetic walk thought for the day. And today's thought stems from the evolutionary significance of iron and its proper utilization and storage. The protein ferritin, which is responsible for storing protein inside our cells, is one of the most highly conserved proteins across all life. Almost every single organism, from single cell prokaryotes all the way up till humans, everything in between, has some form of iron storage. That's to say, not a single living thing on this planet does not have the tools required to properly store iron. That's an ode to how important proper iron management is to life. So when you consider the evolutionary significance of iron and its proper utilization, we as humans dealing with our ill health today have completely, completely bypassed the significance of that. Because iron is so universal and because its utilization is so vital to life, the human body has one of the most efficient systems at hanging on to and using iron. That's to say that we have a 95% recycling efficiency of iron in our body. 95% of the iron that we have is going to stay there. Our body doesn't even have a mechanism to offload iron because it knows once we have what we have, we can hang on to it. Let me say that again. Our body is so efficient at hanging on to iron that a system to offload excess iron does not exist in the body. So when you take a closer look at the enrichment and fortification of the modern food and see that it has been specifically tailored to increase the iron levels and decrease all of the regulatory minerals and vitamins responsible for making sure that iron is utilized properly, you have to start to wonder to yourself, where is this iron being put? Because we know we don't have a way to get rid of it. And then sprinkle that on top of the fact that all of the organs that are the primary storage sites for iron in states of excess, the pituitary, the adrenals, the heart, the liver, the pancreas, the gonads, the gut, all of those, all of those organs that are primary spots of excess iron deposition are the same organs at the root of all of today's chronic illnesses and autoimmune conditions. It's not a coincidence.